This guy personifies investigative journalism. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 most shocking documentaries from famed filmmaker Louis Theroux. Do you feel you've got a life in here? You can make a life in here. Yeah. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. Known for his spectacular interview techniques and voiding his own comfort zone like a bad habit, Theroux is one of the most famous British documentary filmmakers ever. But which of his unforgettable films are the most nail-bitingly perplexing? How do you feel, you know, looking at the new you? Does it match the sense of, of how you feel on the inside? Number 10, Louis Theroux, Transgender Kids. Do you think you are happier as Camille or as Sebastian? Camille. There are many documentaries on the topic of transgender people, but none are quite as insightful as Theroux's Transgender Kids film, which gives a slightly different look at the topic as it focuses on children who feel uncertain about their gender. And why don't you want to go through puberty? Because I don't want to be a girl. A thought-provoking insight into gender identity, we discover how young people can struggle to feel at one with their bodies and how their parents find it difficult to keep their children happy and independent. It also tells of how those parents struggle to do what they think is right for their child. Her future scares me a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. <laughs> Number nine, Louis Theroux, Extreme Love Autism. And do you like having autism? But autism is my life! Alongside his other documentary, Extreme Love Dementia, Louis takes a heartbreaking look at the unparalleled commitments required for families dealing with illness and the advanced care of loved ones. Detailing the lives of young children with autism, Louis interviews both the children themselves and their guardians to gain an understanding of the struggles that autism can lead to, such as fear of socialising and marital strain. I think that we are extraordinary people, but we were extraordinary people before these children came into our lives. One of the most touching documentaries from Theroux, Extreme Love Autism is a real eye-opener. Back then, like years ago, we had violent behaviors because we didn't know any better and it was a tough break, didn't it, wasn't yeah. it? Number eight, my Scientology movie. You've got to have that intensity. Okay, because this is not some minor game. Travelling side by side with ex-Scientology member Mark Rathburn, Louis delves into the innermost circles of the renowned Dianetics-based belief, studying exactly what it is that makes the practices of the group so controversial. They say it brainwashes people. It is, it's mind numbing. While exploring the science of knowing, Louis focuses specifically on the alleged mistreatment of its followers by leader David Miscavige. I've got a letter from Mr Miscavige. Wait, I'm going and if you don't leave, I'm going to have you arrested can, right now. Can I deliver a letter, please? The fact that Theroux was refused cooperation by the Church of Scientology to make a documentary about the belief makes this film all the more contentious and gripping, as Louis is met with extreme adversity at every turn. We, do, we don't want to create any issue for you. And I you. don't want him filming me, so tell him to stop. Well, you're filming us. Tell him to well, stop. Well, you tell him to stop. Number seven, Louis Theroux, Law and Disorder in Lagos. A documentary based in the highly illegal, highly organised back streets of Lagos, Nigeria, this film has Louis following a government-run task force called Kick Against Indiscipline. Only God will judge. Only God. Only God. Only God. Aside to the plentiful crime on the streets, Theroux shows us how small groups throughout the city control different neighbourhoods with fear and violence, leveraging locals for protection money. Theroux also meets with feared union leader MC and questions his violent methodology. His authority doesn't come from the government, does it? It, it comes from his ability to dominate Ooh. the area. Created alongside other crime-based city documentaries, including Johannesburg and Philadelphia, it's a world rarely seen. The law of the land must be obeyed. Number six, Louis Theroux, Under the Knife. Ready? You're okay? Yeah. You look a little white. Do I? Yeah. Oh my word. Plastic surgery can become an obsession for some people, whether it's rooted in a deep desire to have bigger muscles, a smaller waist, or whether people suffer from body dysmorphia, Theroux explores the many different aspects of the industry. Spending time with the individuals firsthand, Theroux asks them why they make the choices they do and also sits in on patient and doctor consultations to question the ethics and effectiveness of plastic surgery. Was that, bit, was that weird for you going through that? I was just... No, not really. I knew he was going to mark me, so... In order to properly immerse himself, Louis even has some minor liposuction done to himself. Wow, that came out of me. Number five, Louis Theroux, a place for paedophiles. What was your original conviction for? I was committed for uh, lewd and lascivious acts on two minor children, females, 
pages 10 and 12. In what is an incredibly difficult subject matter for any documentary filmmaker, Theroux manages to toe the line perfectly in this one, neither sensationalising or sympathising with paedophiles at the Koalinga State Hospital. Some touching was involved. Uh, How old? Uh, six and seven. Discussing what they've done in the past through a series of difficult to watch interviews, the patients tell of both the experiences and public treatment that comes with being a paedophile. This documentary ultimately delivers a completely different perspective on paedophilia by those that have been accused and convicted of it. I chose to have, um, personally chose to have a castration. Number four, Louis Theroux behind bars. What are you in for? A shower deadly weapon. Prison is something that constantly features in film, TV and pop culture, but when Louis went behind the bars of the infamous San Quentin prison, he revealed that many of its controversial rumours are all too true. Interviewing a series of different inmates, from newcomers to criminal veterans, we delve into the mindset and past crimes of notorious criminals and how they survive day to day in the detention center. We keep it segregated. How come? Because we don't want a program with them. Keep a clear line, pretty much. Yeah, white power. Whether it's fighting to defend your bunk or avoiding different races in fear of being singled out, it paints a bleak picture of one of the world's most famous correctional facilities. Number three, the most hated family in America. Who was that one? Is this in the Bible? Bags eat feces? That's a fact, hun. Exploring themes of religion and sexuality, this film details the beliefs and daily activity of the family of the Westboro Baptist Church in Topeka, Kansas, a group renowned for their hatred of homosexuals. Yeah. What if you don't believe in the Bible? Well, then you're going to hell. <laughs> regularly protesting at the funerals of fallen US military soldiers due to their disagreements of America's tolerance of homosexuals, the Westboro family are proud to let the world know that they think God hates the USA. The world calls it weird. I don't care what the world, yes, and the world hates us. Theroux later created a follow-up to this documentary, telling of how the Westboro group had started to deplete in numbers and face criminal action. Quit worshipping the flag, dummy. It can't help you. Number two, porn. This guy opens doors, sees our couple piled in sweat and cum. This is a little rude for the BBC. Something we are no doubt familiar with, but probably know very little about, Theroux looks beneath the often glamorised, playboy-like lifestyle of the porn industry to reveal that, for some of its members, it is shrouded in depression, uncertainty and fear. You don't come, you don't get paid. Is that right? Interviewing adult film stars about why they turned to a career in porn, Theroux gives us a better understanding of what goes into each adult film and the demanding nature of being a porn star. Theroux later revisited the topic with a film entitled Twilight of the Porn Stars, interviewing many of those featured in his initial documentary. This is real. Yeah. Number one, Louis and the Nazis. I've always said I wouldn't leave California because this is going to be the start of the second American Civil War. Yeah! Although on the surface an exploration into racism, this documentary goes much deeper than that, telling of how children can be brought up into neo-Nazi subcultures. From cheerfully singing racist songs to playfully making swastikas out of tape on the kitchen floor, we follow April and her family as they attempt to justify why they believe in the white Aryan race. You know, when my kids and I go to the beach, sometimes we draw swastikas in the sand and you guys are nowhere around. We also see Louie chat with Tom Metzger, a man labelled as the most dangerous racist in America, and witness a harrowing scene which depicts Louie being aggressively questioned over whether he is Jewish or not. A Jew wouldn't be here on my property. Are you Jewish? Do you mind if I don't no. answer that? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.